Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to open our In the Night Garden nesting boxes. And in each box is a little surprise. So on our first box is a picture of Eagle Piggle. And this box opens. It's, what shape is this box? It is a square shape. Who do you think is on the next box? That's right. Upsy Daisy. And Upsy Daisy's box is a circle shape. Upsy Daisy. Upsy Daisy, can we open your box? This box won't open this way. It has to be slid to the side. Huh? And who's that? Oh dear. That is Makapaka. Now to get Makapaka out, we have to push through the hole in the bottom. Slide Makapaka out. Ah! <gasps> Makapaka. Makapaka has an egg-shaped box. A Makapaka. I can feel something wiggling inside. Let's open it up. And there's a surprise. It is a very odd-shaped bouncy ball. The bouncy ball has tiny little balls all over it. Red, orange, yellow and green circles and when you bounce it you never know where it's going to go oh and it bounced right back into Macapaca's box goodbye bouncy ball let's put the bouncy ball back in the upsy daisy box and we put the lid on see that little part it goes in the hole Shut the top back in the box. Close the top. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're having a look at our Jack in the Box toy with Tinky Winky and Lala. I turn the handle, the music plays, and then eventually Jack pops out of the box. Whoa! Our Teletubbies went flying. Are you okay, Lala and Tinky Winky? Do you want to know how a Jack in the Box works? He actually doesn't have any legs or feet. Underneath is a tube containing a spring. When we push Jack into the box, the spring compresses. We close the lid, and there's a little red latch that keeps the door from opening. Oh, sorry, Jack. Got your little hand caught in there. So now I'm going to turn the handle, and there's a mechanism inside the box that causes the little red latch to move and the spring pops up and pushes Jack out of the box. Watch the red latch. Did you see how it moved back? And the door releases. This is what a spring looks like inside a pen. It's the same sort of idea. The spring pops the head of the pen out. Tinky Winky and Lala want to give it a try. They're going to go in the box with Jack. See you in a minute. Whoa! Let's watch that in slow motion. We'll try it one more time. The Teletubbies are still in the box. Oh, this time they didn't fly into the air. 
Oh, look who's come by to check out the box. Stay back, kitty. Oops. It's okay, kitty. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we have this soft, fuzzy tissue box. Oh, and you can already see one of our friends. It's Daniel Tiger who was inside. Oh, there's a lion. Roar! A bear. A bee. Bzzz. A little duckling. Quack, quack, quack. A pink hippopotamus. And a green frog. Ribbit. Let's see who else is inside. Maybe some of Daniel's friends. Who is a tiny fan? <laughs> it's Nunu. Hi, Nunu. Nunu's the vacuum from the Teletubbies. And if you haven't seen the video of Nunu <laughs> sucking up pool balls and learning to count, go have a look at that video. Let's see who else is inside. Pa Peppa Pig. And she's wearing her little heart dress today. Oh, I love your dress, Peppa. Well, thank you very much, Daniel. That's very nice of you. I love your red sweater. Oh, thank you. It's always nice to compliment our friends, isn't it? And we have one more friend inside. It is Bluey. Yay. Hello, everyone. Now, I absolutely love what's inside. It's for young ones learning colors and counting. And there's some crinkly tissues inside. Oh, the first one is number one. And there is a yummy, juicy watermelon. And they're little tissues that crinkle. Great for sensory play. What do you think comes after one? It's two. Two pineapples. Three. Three. Hmm. Plums? Are they purple plums? They must be. Eggplants are a little bit longer. What do you think, tiny fans? Number four. Oh, what kind of fruit are these? Hmm. I know the name and you know how you know something in the back of your head, but you can't quite get the word out. I'm going to look it up. I'll be right back, tiny fans. And just as I was looking up, I remembered the name. It's named after a mystical creature, dragon fruit. And there's four of them. Why do you think they might be named Dragon? Maybe because they sort of look like the scales on a dragon. All right, number five. Oh, and we know what fruits these are. Five apples. One, two, three, four, five. And they're red apples. Mmm. I eat an apple almost every single day. Number six. Six? Hmm. Oranges? Maybe they're oranges. Maybe peaches, but peaches usually have a little line in them. I'm not quite sure because it's kind of yellow, but kind of orange. <laughs> All right, number seven. Seven little blueberries. Oh, blueberries are so yummy. I love to have them in yogurt and they're so good for you too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and number whoo, eight. Eight bright red strawberries. Strawberries are so good for you too. Yummy, 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 yummy. Number nine. Oh, and nine bright yellow lemons. Let's count in threes. Three, six, nine. And last is ten. Ten juicy red cherries. Yay! All right, that's not all that's in here, tiny fans. We have all of our 
colorful number tissues with fruits. And then there are some more silky see-through tissues. We have a yellow one, red, green, blue, orange, yellow. Oh, there was a yellow, but this is more of a lime green when I look at the yellow one. Pink and light blue. And then, oh, there's still more full of surprises, tiny fans. Oh, oh wow, it's a big tissue. African animals. I see a giraffe, zebra, squirrel, hedgehog. Oh, speaking of hedgehogs, we went and visited a little pet hedgehog. Tiny Treasures Minnie got to hold. It was a little bit scared, but they're super adorable. Let's go have a look. <laughs> tiny fans I think that's enough fun learning for today I'm gonna put these tissues back so we don't lose them remember we always put our toys back where they belong especially if they're smaller pieces and then we know where to find them the next time oops I'm sorry Daniel stand you up and so we'll look at more animals another day but this is so much fun and I love that they're crinkly and they make so many neat sounds and I can't wait to have a look at it again now, tiny fans. Oops, sorry, Bluey. Remember, the Dora backpack was hidden somewhere earlier in the video. So if you didn't get to find it, go back and have a look and play some hide and seek. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. <laughs> Please subscribe to our videos. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are going to be opening Peppa's secret surprise. There are six surprises inside. There are six surprises inside. Let's count. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. There are also letters on the boxes that aren't drawers. A, B, C, D, E, Oops. F, G, H, I, and J. Whoops. Let's open drawer number one. Our first surprise. It says Peppa Pig on the pink bag. It's a mini purple hairbrush. Cool. Time for surprise number two. Ooh, they're crystal sticker gems. Pretty. They're silver, pink, purple, blue, yellow, and green. Time for surprise number three. This one's tough. It's a mini gray present. You can store things inside of it. Cool. Number four. It 
their white sparkly bunny ears. They look pretty. Time for surprise number five. It's a little blue and silver crown. And the last one, number six. This one seems way bigger than the, all the others. Look, it's Zoe Zebra. And she's wearing a sparkly pink party dress. It's time to party and puppies joining in too. And to support our channel, please hit the link below to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today I'm outside with our Teletubbies toys. Where's Dipsy and Tinky Winky? I don't see them. Hello, Tinky Winky, Dipsy. Hmm. Oh, and there's Joey. Hello, Joey. He's no longer Poppy anymore. Ah, there's Tinky Winky. What are we looking for? <gasps> hmm. That doesn't belong in the tree. Ooh, but I love the pretty colors. Let's take it out and have a closer look. It looks like a jewelry box and there's a rainbow with two clouds. Let's see what colors are in this rainbow. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. I don't see any red. How about we have a look inside? It is a jewelry box. Oh, and look at the little ballerina in her tutu. Hmm, shouldn't she be dancing? It's a wind up. I love these kind of jewelry boxes. I used to have one of these when I was a little girl. Oh, wow. Tinky Winky, can you spin like that ballerina? Tinky Winky wants to hide from the other Teletubbies. Oh, you're too tall. Let's see, maybe if we move you around. There we go, problem solving. Will that work? Yes. Now, there's one more surprise tiny fans hidden in the rocked garden. Let's go have a look, puppy. Or Joey. It's going to take some getting used to. Tell me when you see something, tiny fans. Remember to look in the cracks of the rocks, too. Nothing here. Hmm. I spot something. It's a mini boo from series two. I love these toys. Let's go take it over with the Teletubbies and open it up and see which one we have. Oh, Puppy sees something. Maybe a mouse or maybe a snake, a gopher. Hmm, do we see anything in the crack? Whatever it is, it went and hid very deep into the rock crack. But it's definitely made Joey a little jumpy. All right, let's see what color the bag is. Sometimes that gives us a clue. Oh, it's a green bag. Are there any green figures? Maybe the little giraffe. It has a bit of green on it. I see some pink feet. Do you see who would have pink feet? I see. Let's pull her out of here. Good 
come on. Oh, she's stuck. Plus, I'm doing it with one hand. Oh, and there she is. It's Precious, the little puppy. Say hi, Joey. Ruff, ruff. Oh, she's so cute. Now, speaking of dogs, I want to show you tiny fans how well Joey listens. Okay, Joey, you stay, 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 stay. Good boy. Okay. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. The Peppa Pig family is checking the mail. The red flag is up which means there is something inside their mailbox. It has a picture of a little Christmas gnome, so maybe there's a Christmas surprise, tiny fans. I think I see some feet. It looks like a Peppa Pig figure. Let's read the label. It says, a Christmas ornament for the Christmas tree. And she has a sparkly pink dress and a matching bow. And the Christmas ornament is much bigger than our Peppa Pig figure. Let's close up the mailbox and put the red flag down. Now today is the second day of December. So we need to open the number two door on our chocolate advent calendar. Can you see the number two, Peppa? There it is, at the very top. Push my thumb and open the door. And this time, it's a little ball. Do you remember what the first day looked like? Let's open up the chocolate ball and see if it's just smooth chocolate or if there's a design on it. Ooh, there are some stars on a dark chocolate ball. Um, oh no, you got some filling on your nose, Papa. It looks like you have a runny nose. Don't wipe it on your sleeve or your dress. Let's get a tissue. And we will wipe it off your nose. All clean again. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our Paw Patrol Beanie Boos and we are going to play a punch box game where we have nine different little circles to punch. And there's the rest of the Paw Patrol crew. Hi, Rubble, Marshall, Zuma, and Rocky. I've hidden some very special Christmas ornaments inside our punch box. Zuma is going to go first. What color does Zuma wear? He wears orange. Let's see if he can punch through the hole. He's too soft. I guess I'm going to have to help you, Zuma. 
your Christmas ornament is a yellow gumball machine. They aren't real gumballs, of course. They're just beads. Rubble is second. Rubble wears yellow. Let's punch the yellow circle. Oh, look, Rubble. You got the little outhouse with a moon on it. What's inside? The door opens. It's a skunk. Quick, close the door. It smells. Sky is going to go third. Sky loves pink. Oh, Sky, you got the Disney ornament. There is Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Donald. And it says Disneyland and their silver Mickey ears. Marshall is fourth. Now I don't see the red color. So what color should we choose for Marshall? Maybe the teal? Marshall got the heart-shaped candy ornament we made in the Teletubbies video. Look at all of these candies melted together. Chase is on the case. He loves blue. Look out, Marshall. Ooh, it's a chest full of treasure. Look at all of the sparkling gems. Rocky loves green. There are two green circles. This one on the top right-hand corner and this one on the bottom left-hand corner. What green is more like the color that Rocky wears? I would say the bottom left. Rocky your ornament looks like a jar of candies and they are rainbow colored. Now we have six ornaments that we opened up. We still have three circles to punch. Let's invite some other friends along. How about the very important lady from the Twirly Woos? She wearing purple. Let's punch the purple circle for her. Ooh, it's a glowing snowman. We need to turn it on and see it light up. Ooh, it changes colors. Let's turn off the light so we can see it better. What colors do you see? Reds and blues. <laughs> Hi, Dougie. Dougie picks the green circle. Oh, it's a cute Monchichi dressed up as Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. And he even has a little sack of toys on the back. Here comes Peppa Pig. Peppa loves pink and red, but we only have a purple circle left. Sorry, Peppa. Peppa's ornament is a movie theater style popcorn maker. And it looks like there is real popcorn inside. Now we have one more item to open and it's from our chocolate advent calendar. But of course, dogs can't have chocolate. It's toxic to them. So make sure your chocolate is out of reach and away from pets. It's December 19th. The door looks small. My guess it's another ball. Did you see how I rhymed? And yes, it is a ball. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans 
for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you.